My children, and ain't no security gonna get in between me and my children. Kanye West has been naming the school that they're at. I want everybody to know. It is posing a real security concern for Kim, for the kids, for the school, for the parents of the other kids at the school, and it's really bad. Yeah. She's made the decision to pay for the security, the additional security at the school. Kanye West, this is terrible. Kanye West has yet again humiliated his former wife Kim Kardashian in his recent social media outburst. The 45-year-old Yeezy mogul leaked private information concerning his kid's school, causing the 41-year-old reality star to take some pretty drastic measures. So what exactly did Kanye do and how did Kim respond to his actions? Kim Kardashian has reportedly paid for increased security at her children's private school after her ex-husband Kanye West named the school on social media. According to an article by TMZ, the school has recently hired extra security as a precaution, with Kim footing the bill. A source said that officials at the school do not believe Kanye is a threat, but are concerned that someone could see his messages and show up on campus. The father of four has been putting a full court press on Kim to enroll the kids at Donda, but Kim has resisted, in no small part because it's not an accredited school. In fact, a recent Rolling Stone story said Donna offers parkour classes, a cone of silence, and a principal with no apparent formal teaching experience. Later on, in an interview with Tucker Carlson, the Donda artist talked about his ex-wife and his kids after they fought about where they should go to school. Kanye revealed that he had a feud with the Kardashians over his Donda Academy. The feud originated from Kim objecting to Kanye's proposal that their four kids, North St. Chicago and Somme, should go to his school. However, Yi revealed that they reached an agreement. So right now, we've come to a compromise, but I'm not finished because I don't compromise, Kanye said concerning the feud. But we've come to a compromise where my kids go to my school after school and they learn choir. I sat there with my son and he came and said, why do I need to sing? I don't even go to your school. Kanye complained about their other school's curriculum, saying, Now you look up and my kids are going to a school that teaches black kids a complicated Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa doesn't, you know? So they don't teach even Christmas itself, Christ Mass, they don't teach it at Sierra Canyon. And what they do is take all of the celebrities, the actors, the basketball players, and they throw them in this one school and they indoctrinate the kids. Kanye called his son Psalm brilliant, but added that his current preschool is looking to figure out how to indoctrinate him to make him be another person. Part of the system. During the interview, he praised Kim as a person and a mom. Kim is like a hybrid. She's not just Marilyn Monroe. You know, she's also a fashion person, Kanye said. She's also a mom. She's also an activist. She's a lawyer. She's a multi-billionaire. He continued, she's hot. She's one of the most beautiful people of all time. This is a dear friend level of video game character now. And when you see a headline that says, Kim says, oh, I'm going to stay single forever, that's the indoctrination. Like, because they want this person to tell all the little girls out there that they need to be single forever. Kanye's interview comes weeks after he revealed several messages, probably of him and Kim on his Instagram, about how they should raise their kids. Kanye argued that their kid should go to his new Donda Academy, but the other person replied asking him to stop. Kanye replied, No, we need to talk in person. You don't have a say-so of where the kids go to school. Why you get say? Because you half white? The conversation continued, and the person relayed a message from Chris where she said, Tell him to please stop mentioning my name. I'm almost 67 years old, and I don't always feel great, and this stresses me to no end. Kanye fired back saying, Y'all don't have say over my black children and where they go to school. They will not do Playboy tapes. He made a separate post revealing his reasoning for his own antics. Anybody that says I'm spiraling when I express the undeniable truths is a sheep, he wrote, before continuing to say, I obviously am dealing with wars at the highest levels of control and discrimination based on the level that I'm operating. Oh, ye is crazy, is basic as F at this point. I'm simply right. I know girls who sell that don't agree with how my daughters are displayed. He concluded the post, it's not up to Calabasas or Hulu where my kids go to school. I'm not the crazy one, he said, adding, I won't stop until I have a say so on my kids no matter what it legally takes. As for Kim, she believes that Sierra Canyon is a good school for her kids since they get to go to school with their cousins. Speaking on Live with Kelly and Ryan about her morning routine, Kim Kardashian said it's madhouse chaos getting her three oldest kids ready for school where they attend alongside their cousins. I do carpool every single day. That's my thing. All my sisters do. Well, there's like 
seven cousins all together so they at the all same go to the same school oh my god so gosh. there's three in one class one in another two in another two in another did i count right i think Something that's close. like that <laughs> the kardashian store added yeah so and they all get so along they're fun. very close they're so close kim also talked about how her sister chloe kardashian is still adjusting to having her daughter true in school for the first time dropping off in pre preschool is really hard you know to walk the away kids get teary yeah and but I've done it like so many times right. and so I'm kind of like I'll get out and I'll kind of peek through the window and Chloe will stay pr pr like all day and I'm like you've got to go <laughs> like you you can't do this social media outbursts concerning his kids are nothing new to Kanye back in March Kanye took to social media to complain about not being allowed to see his kids this was on my daughter's backpack when I was allowed to see her last week Kanye wrote in the post this is why I go so hard for my family I'm wired to protect my family at all costs as the priest of my home. Don't worry, Northy, God is still alive. At the time, Kim commented on the post saying, Please stop with this narrative. You were just here this morning picking up the kids for school. This was the second time Kim has responded to Kanye publicly via social media. Previously, she spoke out when he raised concerns about North's presence on TikTok, saying, Kanye's constant attacks on me in interviews and on social media is actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. As the parent who is the main provider and caregiver for our children, I am doing my best to protect our daughter while also allowing her to express her creativity in the medium that she wishes with adult supervision because it brings her so much happiness. She went on to add, Divorce is difficult enough on our children, and Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate our situation so negatively and publicly is only causing further pain for all. From the beginning, I have wanted nothing but a healthy and supportive co-parenting relationship because it is what's best for our children, and it saddens me that Kanye continues to make it impossible every step of the way. I wish to handle all matters regarding our children privately, and hopefully he can finally respond to the third attorney he has had in the last year to resolve any issues amicably. Kim filed for divorce from Kanye in February 2021 after six years of marriage. A source had previously told E! News on August 5, 2022, that after the divorce, Divorce, they were in a really great place. It was around the time when Kim ended up being on a Yeezy brand campaign with her kids, which led some fans to believe that they were going to be on better terms. Kim was happy to be asked to be a part of the campaign with the kids and to support Kanye in this way, a source told E! News, but it's not a sign of them getting back together. The insider added that the two are fully aligned in making their kids their priority. But will co-parenting be possible for this former couple with all their recent public disagreements? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching!